Maribel stops. She never imagined becoming a millionaire. Like her, this never happens. She looked at her daughter, crying. I won, she croaked. She calmed down and went to collect her winnings. However, the casino employee abruptly took her dreams. Her life changed in an instant. Happening? Maribel Sanchez gambled little. She never lost that much money and never considered herself lucky. The Newcastle Casino was added when her daughter suggested a trip to Newcastle, Oklahoma. When the Portland, Oregon, mother-daughter team arrived at the gaming venue, they never expected such luck so quickly. Maribel felt like leaving the casino the moment she entered. She looked at her smiling mom, who was awed by the casino lights. Maribel was startled by a noise as the mother and daughter walked on the red velvet carpet. Maribel heard a piercing scream across the casino. Liars, the voice shouted. Maribel turned around and saw a group of burly security guards dragging a middle-aged woman out. They are hiding, she shouted. Listen up, she shouted. Liars. They are hiding. Many confused visitors watched security drag the woman out. Maribel told her mother, that's weird. She had no idea things would get stranger. Maribel and her daughter continued their day after the casino ejected the angry woman. Maribel was more comfortable playing slots than tables. She could also play with her daughter. If you like my videos, don't forget to like or subscribe. Thanks in advance. She picked a machine with a free one next to it and sat down while her daughter pulled up alongside her. If only she knew the drama this little game would cause. Maribel, a loan officer, put $1.25 into a Liberty 7 slot machine. Even if she didn't win anything, Maribel knew that this trip wasn't about that, it was about spending time together as a family and making memories. She pulled the lever and stared at the screen, mouth open. Maribel won $8.5 million. A first-time casino experience. She was thrilled by the adrenaline rush. She never expected the devastating twist. Maribel's head spun. She saw things. She shook her mom's shoulder, who was playing another slot beside her, without looking up from the screen. Her mom gawked and spat out her drink. Millionaire Maribel. She had a plan for the money. Maribel easily found ways to spend the money. She would vacation in the Bahamas, buy a new car, and move. She snapped a photo of the slot machine screen so that she could share the news with her friends, but just as she did, the screen went black. Maribel stared at the blank screen but thought nothing of it, she had still won the money. The machine said so. Her phone held the proof. Time to pursue her dreams. She had no idea someone would steal it. Maribel couldn't believe her win. She felt lucky. This would change her life. Maribel approached a casino employee to claim her winnings. They quickly grounded her. Maribel escalated to the top. Casino CEO John Setterstrom said this was the first time a guest won a jackpot and was denied it. Problems were severe. Maribel couldn't accept why she wasn't awarded her prize money. Maribel was constantly disappointed. She was happier than ever, but the attendant shattered her dreams. She couldn't believe the injustice. Isn't this wrong? Maribel erupted. Who thought this man was? Maribel complained immediately. They apologized by giving Maribel and her mom a guest suite for the weekend and free food. Maribel remained unhappy. They took her money but didn't pay her when she won. Cheating. To me, it's cheating, maybe even fraudulent, she stated. How many people has this happened to? They think they won but leave empty-handed. Maribel wanted hers and an explanation, not their apology or hospitality. How did they pull this off? Maribel hired lawyer Bill Zuddy after the casino incident. Bill said, together, we will examine her legal options and aggressively pursue her rights. She deserves her winnings. Maribel's dreams of sunbathing in the Bahamas and driving a Mercedes are fading, but the investigation continues. A Vegas incident occurred while she awaited the verdict. Kimmy, Jeff, and Jeff's brother Royce went to Sin City to unwind.
They were novice gamblers like Maribel and her daughter. Kimmy and Jeff agreed. They had no idea Royce's secrets would force them to run out of the casino. Kimmy and Jeff labored all year. They promised to take a week-long vacation in Las Vegas as summer approached. Since they owned a bookstore and Kimmy was a famous novelist, they could make the trip without stepping on anyone's toes. Kimmy and Jeff planned the Vegas trip on time. Before leaving, they made sure the store was safe and set up backup plans. Jeff received a call from his twin brother, Royce, who had eloped three years earlier. Jeff listened. Royce said he missed his family and wanted to see them despite his success. Before calling, he visited their parents. I wanted to see you, share a beer or read one of those books you have lying around, he nervously laughed. He didn't realize he was late. Jeff requested time with his brother. But his and Kimmy's Vegas flight was the only issue. They booked a luxury hotel to relax. Jeff hated rejecting his brother, especially since Royce reached out. Jeff remembered Royce wasn't at his wedding. Rescheduled. Kimmy's solution stumped Jeff after he told her his problem. Why not invite Royce? She planned to spend her vacation reading by the hotel pool. Royce kept Jeff from getting bored. Jeff called Royce, who agreed. He even booked a room in the same hotel as them to be closer to his family. Instead of flying him to San Francisco, where Jeff and Kimmy lived, they met at the hotel since he was in a different state. They didn't understand. Kimmy and Jeff checked into their Las Vegas hotel as planned. But Royce knocked after only 10 minutes. Jeff saw a taller man. Tattoos covered his neck, arms, and legs. He still exuded the warmth Jeff remembered. Instead of coming inside, he insisted Jeff and Kimmy join him for city fun. Jeff and Kimmy hadn't been to Vegas in a while. They locked their doors and left with Royce at night. He took them to the first casino he saw, saying he would fund their gambling all night since he hadn't gotten them a wedding present. They'd only be in the casino for an hour. Royce played roulette with Jeff and Kimmy, saying he was lucky. He gave them $100 in $20 bills and instructed them to follow. They started playing, losing $20 per spin. Royce kept playing even though Jeff and Kimmy were getting depressed. He gave them $200 and repeated what he said before they played. My rules. The next spin landed on black 22, but the electronic board showed red 32. Kimmy cursed. Another loss. Royce still wanted to win. Put everything on red 32, he told Jeff and Kimmy. They didn't listen. Next spin, red 32. Jeff and Kimmy nearly retreated. They watched Royce receive over $100,000 in chips. Someone saw him take the money and run. He only said, we need to go now, as he turned the corner with his money. Time to flee. Royce, Kimmy, and Jeff grabbed the first taxi and fled the casino. A woman chased them out. Royce's boss was vacationing. He didn't want anything to ruin family time. He said, happy marriage, as he gave Jeff and Kimmy all his winnings. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next video.